so in this video we're going to teach you another trick to help make computation a little bit easier. So when you're asked to multiply two numbers or when you're asked to divide or anything, you can always write the numbers as a sum or a difference. For example here, 100 minus 3 equals 97. So instead of writing 97 times 23, you can write 100 minus 3 times 23. And this may make it seem a little bit more complicated at first, but when you use the distributive property, you'll find out that it's actually a lot easier. Because see, look. When you distribute 23 to 100 and then to 3, you get 23 times 100 minus 23 times 3. And 23 times 100 is a lot easier than 23 times 97 because you just have to add two zeros after 23. And 23 times 3 is also not as bad as 23 times 97 because it's just a one digit number. So you know that that's 69. And then when you subtract that, you get 2,231, which is your answer. So 2,231 was our answer when we used the distributive property. Now, if you look at my calculator, when you do 97 times 23, you also get 2,231. But our method was a lot easier. So um, you can remember, you can always write a number as the difference or sum of two different numbers. Um, it would also have been easier if you could write 23 as 20 plus 3, for example, because then you only have to multiply by 20 and then 3. But that's still not as easy as. Um, writing 97 as 100 minus 3. So that's all for this video. Remember that you can always write a number as the sum or difference of different numbers. Thank you!